Hi, this is Shreyas. So far, we've discussed the theory of performing a molecular dynamic simulation. And in this video, we'll start coding up the simulation. So just a quick recap. Um, we're performing a simulation of a bunch of argon particles that will interact with each other with some forces. So uh, to start coding it up, we need to initialize the particles to some positions and then give them some initial velocity. And that's what we'll be doing in this video. So uh, we'll first import some packages. We need to import NumPy. Uh, we need to import uh, PyPlot, so from mat.lib. Import PyPlot as PLT. And we'll import mat. So we'll make a class called dynamics and in this class, we'll uh, store all the required variables and all the necessary functions for our simulation. So uh, every class has like uh, an initializer function, uh, which is executed every time we make an object of the class. So here we'll declare all, all the variables. So first of all, we need a variable called dimension, which will which is set to two. And if we want, we can perform a 3D simulation too, right? So let's just keep it general. Then the number of particles, let's say 50. So now we can make a variable for our positions and we'll set everything to zero initially. This takes uh, a tuple as an argument, which indicates the size of uh, our array. So we have uh, 50 uh, pairs, which are set to 0, 0 each. And we'll do the same with velocities. Uh, so now we can write the functions to initialize them. So every function takes an argument um, as self. That is just a Python thing. It indicates that uh, the variable you are referring to is of this class. So uh, we'll set self dot positions positions equal to uh, some random uh, some random positions right so NP dot random dot random sample and this also takes in uh, a tuple as an argument which is the size of our random sample uh, this will generate random values ranging from 0 to 1, but we don't want to restrict ourselves to 1, right? So we'll define a variable called box length, uh, box length equal to say 10, and then we can multiply this thing by 10. So now our positions will be ranging from uh, 0 to 10 on each component, uh, x and y in our case. And now our velocities. So uh, also there is one inherent problem with initializing the um, positions randomly. That is two particles can overlap with each other and hence the potential energy will shoot up to infinity, which is not what would happen in nature, right? Two particles would never come that close. Uh, so we'll handle that later. Uh, we'll perform something called minimization, which will uh, sort of create sufficient gaps between the particles. So yeah, we'll handle that later. 
and as for velocities we uh, can't initialize them completely randomly because we'll be in we'll be performing the simulation for a particular temperature right and uh, so there has to be a difference uh, on the behavior of argon at say 300 kelvin compared to 400 kelvin so there has to be some factor that is taking care of that and also the gas as a whole shouldn't move anywhere right even though the particles are moving internally the average position of the entire gas has to remain constant so to uh, handle that or rather to pick correctly uh, we'll pick the velocities from something called as the maxwell boltzmann distribution so um this is the expression for uh, the maxwell boltzmann distribution in uh, one dimension so f of uh, vx is the probability density for uh, this distribution in one dimension so this is something called as a gaussian this type of function and numpy has an inbuilt function for you to pick from a gaussian so this is the function so the first equation you are seeing is the probability density for velocities in one di one dimension uh, according to the maxwell boltzmann distribution and the second equation is the probability density that numpy allows us to pick from so substituting we know that sigma is root kt by m and mu is uh, equal to zero uh, so if you are confused about why we're picking from the maxwell boltzmann distribution or what that even is uh, you can check out another video i've made especially on this distribution so you uh, from that video you'll know its importance and what exactly it means to pick from a probability density so yeah so we'll write that function over here first we need to uh, write what sigma will be so standard sigma is the standard deviation so standard deviation is um self dot mass uh, divided by self dot k which is the boltzmann constant into self dot temperature and um, it's the root of this and we also need to define these variables so self dot mass uh, for now we'll set it to one self dot temperature is equal to 300 and self dot k is equal to one for now so velocities is equal to numpy dot random dot normal so this num uh, numpy dot random dot normal is the function for um, picking random values from a gaussian and uh, we need to pass a mean value and the value for standard deviation so the mean value is zero um, as you saw from the equation and the standard deviation is this term right here and we'll we also need to pass the shape of our output that is uh, size is equal to one particle and self dot dimension so there we have it we have initialized our velocities according to our temperature pretty cool right so yeah we have initialized our positions and velocities and let's see how they look like so i'll create an object of our class okay so we have initialized them now let's try printing them so print dynamics dot positions and uh, in dynamic dot velocities okay let's see so here we have all our positions so this is the 
x component and this is the y component and we have 50 such positions and the velocities would be similar we have the x component and y component and we have 50 such velocities so now that we have all our positions we'd like to see how our particles look right so we'll make a function to plot them and i already have a pre-written function here um, which basically draws circles uh, where the particles are and um, so yeah and this is the boundaries of our drawing area uh, you can i guess google up the syntax it's just python stuff so yeah let's see how they look dynamic start yeah So yeah, this is how our particles look like. Um, in case you need some reference, I'm attaching the code for the simulation uh, below. So yeah, this is it for this video. Goodbye for now.